I'm Patrick Kennedy from Kennedy Nolan. Uh, we were engaged by Calvin Tang of Exelon to uh, renovate this building, the Melbourne Stephenship Building, for its latest iteration as the head office for Exelon, as well as a co-working space for uh, other people who um, share the values of the Exelon company. The main challenge with the building um, was trying to preserve the historic fabric of it uh, uh, and make it legible. So it's a very important building, it um, was built for Melbourne Steamship for their head office and since that time it's had a number of iterations and a number of renovations but principally a lot of the original features of the building remain. Um, some of the ways that we, we interpreted and used the historic fabric were to do with say things like the colour scheme. This, um, this original mahogany staircase, which is quite a distinctive colour, formed the, the basis for our colour scheme. Um, we, want, we didn't want to have to compete against it, we didn't want to have to obliterate it. So we chose uh, the, the deep blue and the pale grey with the lime timber as a sort of as complementary ways of reframing these historic elements. Partitions that we did put in, um, like this uh, light metal framed grid here, um, very clearly show that they are later additions and that they're and that they're a modern expression, they're a new expression. When we were thinking about this project, our approach uh, relied very heavily on the specification of furniture, uh, both joinery and, and uh, loose furniture, as well as lighting. Um, the reason for that is that we wanted to maintain the clarity of the existing building and take a light touch. And so we thought that the, the introduced elements um, needed to be very carefully considered so that they were, they were strong enough to reef the aesthetics of, of the interior. Our approach to the spatial arrangement um, of the interior uh, aimed for the, a, a maximum flexibility and a maximum of different types of, of uses available. So we wanted uh, open plan areas, we wanted cellular offices, we wanted meeting rooms um, and we wanted um, a range of sort of informal spaces and the, the challenge with that is actually to bring all of those different uses into a single expression so it's something that's held together as a single interior so when you come into this building no matter which part of it you're in, whether you're in uh, an open plan desk area or you're in one of the meeting rooms or the boardroom, you know that you're here because the, the expression of uh, material palette and the, the approach to lighting and even the way the building sounds is very consistent. A lot of the loose furniture was made by a company called Power to Make, um, which were uh, terrific to work with. They um, use CNC machines to laser cut plywood um, and they're quite flexible in what they can do. So all of our tables and the lockers and some of the bookshelves and so on have been, have been made by them and I guess we uh, worked with them to customise it to this particular office, um, particularly in terms of the finish which is this um, pale lime, liming which um, fits in really beautifully with our, uh, with our, with our colour palette.